So today I'm talking about just some makeup favorites, specifically my GOAT, go-to drugstore products. They're very affordable, very usable, and for the most part, very easy to find nearby in a drugstore. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm going to kind of walk through this, um, starting with face products and then moving more towards eye and lips. So, starting with my two sort of foundation-y type products. Um, the first is an actual foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Okay, I did not wear foundation for years. This was the foundation that really got me comfortable wearing it again, matching it to my skin. So this is the foundation that I'm currently wearing. I'm wearing, I wear this in shade 425 Linen. It's long lasting, uh, doesn't look dry or patchy at the end of the day, and they really have such a wonderful range of colors for different skin tones, especially those of you with olive complexions like myself. And I think this is a big thing with a lot of products, especially the products that you put in your face. The way you apply them and the tools you use can completely change the product. My favorite way to wear this foundation is I will do one pump of foundation, mix it in with my moisturizer, and then I apply it with a really um, big fluffy face brush. I also like to use it with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which is another one of the items on this list. I love this primer uh, a little bit, goes a long way. I also like that I don't have to use this primer all over my entire face. I can use it in the spots where I know that my makeup might either crease or, um, I don't know, it starts to like crack, I guess, towards the end of the day, um, or if I want to mattify a little Another bit. primer that I adore for when I am being, being, when I'm on camera or taking photos is the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. This one is a little bit drying to use with the L'Oreal foundation, but I love this primer with some of my more high-end concealers and foundations. I think it does an incredible job of just blurring the skin um, and making everything look really nice and smooth on camera. It's also really nice um, to put over any type of imperfection or breakout that you have if you want to cover that up. I like to go in with this photo ready primer first. And then on to the face product that really had me not wearing foundation for three years. This is the L'Oreal Magic. Skin Beautifier BB Cream in the Anti-Redness shade. I mean, this comes out green, and then it uh, matches your skin tone. I have read reviews and definitely noticed that this tends to be a warmer color. Uh, it's a little more orange, so super fair people might not like the Anti-Redness um, product. They do have other shades in this as well, but I really liked the Anti-Redness one because I felt that it was really the best solution for my olive skin tone not wanting something super full coverage it just it looks like skin it just sticks to your skin it stays it's gorgeous so it's a really nice day to night kind of foundation or baby cream i've been putting out more videos that don't involve foundation at all um and some of the reasons uh, to thank are the concealers that i found they have tried the YSL concealers, I've tried them, like I've been all over um, the, the range, whatever, I've done a lot of concealers. This one is still my absolute favorite. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Concealer. Most of the skin products that I gravitate towards are L'Oreal. It's slightly lighter than my skin tone, so I'll use it in the center of my face to sort of highlight my face. I am wearing this today on the high points of my face. It's just stunning. It's super easy to work with. It blends in really well. My favorite brush to use this with is a flat foundation brush um, that I just broke. I prefer it definitely with fingers or a flat brush versus a sponge. I think the sponge can kind of um, soak up a little bit too much of the product. Another one that I like to use more for color correction and blemish correction or covering is the L'Oreal True Match Corrector, um, and then this is a neutral one. I like that they have the different skin undertones going on in here. Same thing, it's really easy to apply, it stays exactly where you put it. 
Um, and honestly, my favorite way to apply this is with my fingers. A little bit of that heat from your hands really blends this in super well. So I'm wearing both of these concealers today with the L'Oreal foundation. The one thing I have yet to find at a drugstore that I really love is highlighters. There's none that I just love yet, um, so there won't be any of those. I will start with the bronzer. So this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, it is the Muru Muru Butter Bronzer in Sunkissed. I like that it's a very skin-toned bronzer. So this is really good for adding an overall bronze or if you want to contour your face with it. Um, it's not glittery at all. It smells like the beach, like it smells like SPF. My only thing, kind of complaint, is like the package is, it's pretty but it's kind of bulky. So I wish there was, because this is just the product, so the package has um, that sponge in there but I never use it. The mirror is pretty good though, so it's got a solid mirror. And it looks really great, blends out really well. It's very pigmented, so when you have a brush, um, you do get a lot of color payoff. The next one is another Physicians Formula product. This is their Rose Dioro, Rose Doro, baked powder blush. It's just so pretty. I mean, I just think this is such a universally flattering shade. There's a little bit of sparkle in it. Same thing, I never really use, I don't know, maybe I'm just using these wrong. I don't love these. Um, so I just wish for these two, the Physicians Formula. I love their products and their eyeliners too. I just wish the packaging for their blush and bronzer was a bit smaller, like this one, which is the Wet n Wild, um, just their color icon blush, and this is in the shade Mellow Wine. I know Wet n Wild has some ombre ones, they have some baked kind of combined highlighter blushes. I love those as well. Um, just the current one I've been using has just been this a little more deeper, I don't know, it's like a warm rose wine color. Wet n Wild, like, do not let the prices fool you. These are really nice. Um, they keep their packaging super basic, but what I like about that is this is really easy to pack and bring everywhere. I have the hardest time finding eye products that I like at the drugstore. There's really great brands out there, um, like Tarte and Too Faced, and if you can get them on sale or get some of the travel ones, their eyeshadows are just better. They're gonna last you longer. That being said, the one eyeshadow palette I've discovered that I like from the drugstore is this e.l.f. Mad for Matte Summer Breeze. Has all the bases covered. It is not aggressively warm. It's not rose gold. Um, you've got your browns, peaches, pinks, and then you've got a nice like burgundy purple situation and a black. If you need a basic matte eyeshadow palette, I think this is the way to go. You get good color payoff. It lasts decently long and I've definitely used this a lot for um, filming and photos because they pretty much cover all your bases in terms of the shades that you need. So that is the only eyeshadow on this list. It's the only one I found that I really like from the drugstore. The next part I'm going to talk about is brows. I like using um, mascara for my eyebrows just because I'm lazier and the wand is bigger and they're easier to find. So I like the Neutrogena Healthy Lengths Mascara. I get it in brown black and black. The brown black for my eyebrows, which I'm wearing right now, and the black for eyelashes. I really don't like mascara that much anymore for my lashes. I feel like it's just like the push-up bra of your face, like, it looks good, but you don't want to wear it all day. It lasts long, uh, it can keep that soap brow look up. This one's been my kit, I use it pretty much every day. If I were to only use two products a day, it would probably be the brows and this, like, Age Perfect concealer. Next are eyeliners. So I'll start with, is this a pencil? Or a it is pencil. And this is the Boots Number no. 7 Stay Perfect Amazing Eyes Pencil. I know for sure that Walgreens sells this brand. Um, not totally sure about the others. but So this is a really, really nice taupey brown. It's matte. It's straightforward. It's very easy to blend. It stays in place. Uh, lasts a long time. So whether you kind of want to smoke it out or you just want like a smudgy eyeliner look, this is really nice. It's super soft. You can put it... Um, on your eyelashes, on your waterline, it's not going to bother them. 
And along with mascara, I don't wear too much eyeliner anymore, but this is the one that I wear if I do wear eyeliner. I used to love, Honoré mentioned, the Physician's Formula Trio. Uh, they're just a little bit harder to find and they don't last as long. The next eyeliner, this one, once again, Wet n Wild, this is the H2O Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It's got kind of like a felt tip. I know that they have come out recently with a pen tip. It's not the waterproof one. The reason I love this is this sucker will last forever. I really put this to the test back in my summertime music festival day. It stays on. It looks gorgeous. Uh, it's a really nice matte. The black is a really nice matte black. Same with the brown. They're just lovely natural looking tones um, and they don't have that kind of like uh, patent leather look that some of the really slick wet looking eyeliners can have. When I apply it. I do like to make sure I really get the excess off. It is not the easiest applicator for liquid liner. It's a little bit bulky, but if you have a tissue and you can wipe off the excess, um, you can work with it really well. A last note on eye. This is an Amazon buy, but as I mentioned, I really don't like wearing mascara anymore, but I think curling your eyelashes can make you look more awake in the morning. It can really pull a makeup look together. So this has been my favorite eyelash curler for a couple years now. It is the Brilliant Beauty something something or other. Um, eyelash curler and I'll put a link to this um, in the bottom because you have to get it on Amazon. Well, it's super simple. It's not intimidating. It comes with this little like black rubber thing and it really gives you a nice natural curl. You don't get your eyelashes stuck in it and it lasts a decently long time. So now, finally, um, we are moving on to lip products. So, I'm going to start with chapstick type deal. So I tend to have drier lips, finding the right chapstick kind of took a while. And what I've landed on is the EOS lip balms, but it's any of the ones that have coconut in it. And the coconut ones do a really excellent job at actually moisturizing my lips. Um, I'll put this on underneath any lip color, or if I'm not wearing any lip color, I'll make sure that this is on there. As far as lipsticks go, I'm a bit of a traditionalist. I really like the the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks, the really classic looking black tube. But the one that I've recently been in love with um, is 671 Mink. It's like a sheer dupe of the Marc Jacobs Je Temme, which I use a lot. And that one is much more pigmented per swipe. This one is very buildable. It can be sheared out. It can be used elsewhere on your face and it's really really nice. The only downside I will say to this one, this shade Mink, is it does not have the staying power of some of the more expensive lipsticks that I've bought. That being said, because it's so sheer and moisturizing, I do end up kind of reapplying it throughout the day as if it were a lip balm or a chapstick, so it works out pretty well. The final two products for lips kind of fall into the drugstore price category. Um, one can be a bit harder to find because it's ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. This is in the shade Frickin' Frack. It's not drying. It is super moisturizing and you get insane color payoff. I actually layered this Frickin' Frack with Mink from Revlon and that's what I have on my lips right now. A little bit goes a long way with these. Like I will do one dot on the bottom of my lip and then can blend it out and have this gorgeous uh, pigmented matte lip that's gonna last for a long time. The other one is a matte in a stick format. This is from Target. So it's not available at every single drugstore as far as I'm aware, but it's easy to find at Target. This is the Jason Wu Hot Fluff. I think it's just a multi-stick, so you can use it on your eyes, cheeks, lip. So my boyfriend's sister put me onto this one, and it's I've been wearing it almost every single day. Um, I have it in shade 2, Gingerbread. Um, I use this in another makeup tutorial that I can link for you somewhere. He's done an excellent job of finding shades that actually look good on your lips and your cheeks together, and you can really move the product around. These two do not dry my lips out so I do feel comfortable wearing them throughout the day. So that pretty much wraps it up for some of the best drugstore makeup products that I am reaching for all the time. Drugstore products have gotten so much better and I don't think that makeup should be this inaccessible um, 
thing. The difference for the luxury sometimes is not that big and these are some really trusty ride or die have your back uh, products that I found at the drugstore. So well, to all of you who are subscribed to this channel, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, that would be great too, but otherwise have a wonderful rest of your day.